At the Shanghai Auto Show earlier this year, EVs took center stage. Brands like Polestar and BYD are part of a wave of Chinese EVs coming to Britain and the EU. Those brands and others are among seven Chinese EV companies to launch in Britain between 2019 and into next year. The influx of Chinese vehicles will have a positive impact on a market burdened with challenges, industry experts say. Although Britain plans to ban sales of new gasoline and diesel cars by 2030, numbers released late last year show the sale of battery-operated vehicles fell for the first time since 2021, mainly due to supply issues. Long delivery times, low battery mileage range, a shortage of public chargers and high sale prices have also been barriers. London resident Arno Gernath purchased his Audi EV late last year and says he has experienced some of those challenges. People think that electricity is cheaper, but I'm not sure it is the case. There's like a little bit of a learning curve. So you need to charge at night, for instance, when the price of the electricity is lower. Uh, you need to choose too much the uh, fast charging because it's obviously more expensive. So uh, there's your calculation that you need to do, and I was not expecting that. To avoid unpleasant surprises, many drivers are opting to lease electric vehicles. Britain-based leasing company Octopus Electric Vehicles has seen increased interest and recently announced a partnership with one of China's largest EV manufacturers, BYD, for the purchase of 5,000 vehicles over the next three years. Octopus Electric Vehicles CEO Fiona Howarth says the rapidly changing technology and uncertainty about secondhand values makes leasing more attractive than buying for now. Customers are nervous about making that switch. It's new technology, they're not sure about how they're going to enjoy it and how they're going to fit it into their lifestyle with charging. BYD's model has a limited battery range of 260 miles, but Howarth and others forecast that overall, the incoming stream of Chinese EVs will create greater competition, resulting in lower prices, more charging stations, and faster delivery. There are some manufacturers in China that are fully vertically integrated, all the way from their chips to the batteries to the assembly of the vehicles, gives them full control so they can be very slick in terms of meeting the demands of their customers globally. Our average wait time is six to nine months for our drivers to be able to get into a car. For Arno Gernath, the decision to buy an electric vehicle may have been premature, but he's optimistic about the future. I'm not sure I would buy it again. I think the Chinese uh, EVs will have a positive impact especially on uh, the auto, because it's not totally hybrid, but the range is uh, more than 1,000 kilometers. Gernath's experience may serve as a cautionary tale for other drivers to wait for the impact of increased competition to take hold before getting behind the wheel of an electric vehicle. Amy Gutman for VOA News, London.